Alright everyone, hello and welcome to another Cotabo Space Program where we have a couple of lovely Kerbal Knots floating here in orbit around the planet, which... <laughs> oh, if you watched last episode, we, we could not do ourselves quite yet, but today we are going to carry on and try and get a successful orbit around the planet. <laughs> let's let's hope it goes well. I, I first want to go in back into here into the VAB and load up the craft we were using last time. What did I... Oh yes, Kotobos X1. As you can see all these other stock ships the game comes with. But we'll go to the Kotobos X1. Load her up here. And well, I think I might want to make one or two small changes before we head out again. First off, this thing definitely can get us where we need to go, but orbiting is where I start to get things go wrong a bit with maneuvering, and I, oh, last time, I wouldn't, simply not would have had enough fuel to make it back into orbit. We could have gotten in orbit, but then good old Jebediah would have been stuck up there in space, and well, we don't want to do that quite yet, as I don't know how to rendezvous so that we could move around crew. So, we are going to just put a small little fuel tank here and a little engine, which hopefully has enough thrust. What is the thrust on this thing? Let's see. Da -da -da -da, 50 in these. Oh, 200. Okay, so it's a slow-burning engine, but it'll... Uh, you know, should help with fuel here. So this is going to be the stage we'll use to actually descend back into the atmosphere so that, you know, we actually can. <laughs> Woo, that's not the right one. Not the right one at all. Where is my little decoupler? There we go. That's the right one, right? Oh. No? It's not what I wanted to do, actually. I wanted a decoupler here. There we go. So that we still have that bottom stage. And oh, I took the engine with it. Oh, jeez. Hmm. What's this one compared to this one? Oh, that's for the big ship. Never mind. <laughs> there we go. That should be good. Uh, that's cool that it puts the little uh, cowl around it. Is that the proper term for that? I... I always forget. Let's raise this up so we are not in the floor. There we go. Now hopefully this doesn't add too much additional weight to this overall craft so that we still make it into space and nice and safe. But uh, who knows. <laughs> maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't. I don't know. Oh, oh god, uh, separation stuff. No, I do not want you to go at the same time. Where... Where are you? What bloody engine is that? Is it... Wait a minute. Okay, okay, let's... Let's try and figure this out here. You are an engine, which... Okay, so we'll put you there. You there. You there. No. Bad decoupler. That one needs to go there. I think that'll work. Though why what? Seriously, what engine is that? <laughs> no. Down here. Well, actually, that's not entirely where I want that either, but that should work, right? Maybe? Oh, God, is going to die, isn't he? <laughs> All right, well, let's save this. We're still going to keep it named the X1 because it, it wasn't a hugely radical change here. That still has the debris from our last mission. Let's, oh, God, hope that this works and that my... Wonderful, wonderful Jebediah doesn't die. 
I like having him around. He's my favorite one of the uh, Kerbonauts. All right, let's keep you on. Eh, even though that's not horribly important with such a small ship, I still like seeing all this stuff. It interests me. Oh, oh, and yes, we we need to do this. Since last episode, I discovered that the scientific instrumentation does work. We're to turn that on. And turn that on too. Okay, there we go. Now I'm not gonna extend the antenna. I think that would be stupid to do. But <laughs> uh, yeah, that should that should be good. Let's just get out here to a slightly better vantage point. Activate the SAS so that we don't go horribly out of control, because with my horrible flying, yeah, it's a good possibility. And let's fire off here in three, two, one, and Godspeed, Jebediah. Oh, please, please don't die. <laughs> All right, looks like we're starting to tilt a little bit here. I'm doing good so far. Jebediah, he's looking all nice and cheery in there. Oh yeah, I still forgot to look up what uh, the button is for getting out of the IVA. I may have to pause the recording and do that here in a minute, because I would like to see from Jebediah's view. But we'll hold off on that. Let's actually try and complete this mission. So I, I would like to get a Kerbonaut successfully into orbit and not just basically firing him from a cannon. <laughs> alright, alright. Solid fuel rockets are almost done. Let's do this right so we can lose the extra weight. There we go. Oh god, oh god. Everything went wrong. Everything went very wrong. Oh, this. Yep. The separation stage is not good. And why? Why is that still following us? Oh, this... This is not good. <laughs> oh, we appear to be falling. We're, yes, yes, we are falling. Okay. Okay, let's... Let's just drop that stage then. Oh, God, that did not... That did not go as well as I was hoping. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, let's get Jebediah safely packed down, open up the parachute, and... Well, what the hell, let's extend the antenna. <laughs> uh, it's kind of pointless now, anyways. Oh, there's all of our debris hurtling back towards the launch pad there. You might want to move all your ground crew. It's not safe. It's not safe at all. <laughs> Oh man, what in the world happened? I guess the couplers were in the wrong order. Oh man. Oh, I was really hoping that that launch would go well. <laughs> but no, oh yeah, I forgot that there's an electrical charge now, and I, I wonder if the scientific equipment is actually using additional charge. Hmm. That's a good question. I mean, the ship will always be using a charge. But... Hmm. I might want to... I might look that up at some point. Oh, Jebediah. I had such high hopes for this mission. <laughs> okay, so pretty much, you know, first mission that we launched... We got about here. Second mission. Oh, did I never end that mission? Well, second mission, we got all the way up here, which, yeah, apparently I forgot to end that mission. Though, wait, if I didn't end that mission, how do I have Jebediah in this capsule? Are you the real Jebediah? Are you a clone? Oh, God. Oh god, things are getting weird now. Huh, that's... Yeah, it's... no, I could have sworn I ended that mission. Why is that still there? Oh, and so, well, either way, for this third mission, 
We made it... Well... Like a, a, hundred, a few hundred yards. Oh, hey, look! My cut to couplers. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry about that, Jebediah. I truly am. Let's let's end this flight. <laughs> okay, back to the vehicle assembly building. Let's try and find out where exactly I went wrong. Whoa, no, no. Oh, yeah, that... Huh. Alright, I'm going to pause the recording here, and I'll be back in a second once I try and figure this out. Alright, hello everyone, we are back. Sorry about that little pause, but yeah, I don't think you wanted to see me fumbling around with all of these. Cause, oh god, i not entirely sure if I got it all right. But, I, I, I believe I do. I think this has the proper staging now. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure, but <laughs> hey, that's what this playthrough of this game is all about. Me trying things and hopefully succeeding. Uh, I'm just trying not to kill Jebediah, honestly, so let's hope it goes well. <laughs> also, during the pause, I ended that mission that was up north. Jebediah did return from it. All that was there was a blank capsule that I couldn't actually get into. So, yes, that is ended now, so we don't have that debris. Let's pin our resources and hopefully send Jebediah up into orbit. So let us start the countdown here in 3, 2, 1, liftoff. And we have passed the first hurdle of not exploding on the landing pad. So, yeah, that's always good. Though... Oh, 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 man. I forgot to turn on the science. We need... We need the science. Otherwise, what's the point? It's, you always need science. And hey, it gives Jebediah something to do besides grin like the crazy madman that he is. Aw. Oh, I love you really, Jebediah. You're... You're wonderful. <laughs> Alright. The wonderful particle effects there. That is pretty cool. Let's zoom out a bit more. I'd like to be able to see a lot more of my ship. Plus, it's not quite as loud as when you're up close. <laughs> Alright. There go the solid rocket boosters. Oh, I forgot to turn up the thrust on the engines. Let's go. Eey, hopefully that doesn't cost me too much speed. I doubted it was for like an additional second, but nonetheless, you never know. Alright. Starting to get up there. I'm thinking perhaps we should start a little bit of a gravity turn here. In a moment. Yeah, don't know exactly when's good timing for this, but hey, let's start tilting a little. There we go. There we go. Oh. Nope, not RCS. That's not what I wanted. Okay. You know, I really should bind some of these controls to my mouse rather than the keyboard. Just, uh, apparently I'm not very good with the keyboard. I keep turning on the RCS fuel. <laughs> Which is not what I want, because that's kind of useless at this point. In space, it's wonderful. But not here. Alright. So we still have that tank left there. What is my trajectory looking like? Not as well as I hoped it would be at this point. Come on, let's let's do this. Let's go. Let's start tilting a little bit more. Lock it in place. Gotta love that SAS, man. <laughs> okay, I'm hoping that'll help us get a bit more wide of an orbit. Now, I'd like to get us up to 150. So let's just let this engine keep burning. Almost. We're getting there. Almost. A little bit more. Come on. There we go. A little bit over the 150 mark, but 
that makes me happy and oh god we do not have a whole lot of fuel left in that Yee. that is what I was worried about I was really hoping we'd have more fuel in this bottom stage so I was wanting this top stage to primarily be for getting back into the planet to deorbit our capsule but, oh, let's see how this goes. Hopefully we have enough fuel to do everything that we want to do. Though with my luck, we won't. Right now we're pointing towards the moon there. Beautiful, isn't it? Alright. Where are we at? Now let's start angling ourselves to the position we want to be in for our burn and luck turn the s or not ss the rcs to sort of get me in here there we go hmm tempted to burn a bit sooner than the apoapsis but i don't want to make a mistake by burning too early so with my luck, that will send us just into chaos, and who <laughs> wants that? <laughs> Probably you people viewing, you just... You like to see that, don't you? <laughs> no, no, you guys are alright. So let's try and angle a bit more. Apparently there is some thunder going on outside my place now. You may be hearing that through the microphone. I guess a storm is rolling in. I should probably check the weather on the weekends. <laughs> eh, what are you going to do? Alright, you know what? I think that this is good enough for the burning now. Let's, well, let's hope. Let's just angle a little bit more. A little bit more. Lock us in. And let's burn. There we go. Trajectory is getting wider. Our fuel is running low. Almost gone. There we go. Why is that engine not turning on? Oof. Okay. I figured it would turn on right when I separated those, but apparently not. Okay, we are slowly but surely widening our orbit. Uh, yeah, this is what I was worried about. That engine is not very powerful and it is very slowly widening our orbit here. Oh, come on, come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Alright, it's going. It's going well so far. I figure as long as I still have half of the fuel in this, Perhaps that should be enough to get me back into uh, the Kerbin atmosphere. Oh god, I'm not doing too well on that <laughs> front so far. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it, my friend. Eek, it's getting it's getting to that halfway point there. But we're about to pop out the other side. Keep going. I'd like to get that to about a hundred. Okay. Oh, that's a little bit more. Come on. Go, 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 go. All right. Woo. <laughs> okay. That is a really, really wonky orbit, but nonetheless, we're in orbit. <laughs> okay, let's let's extend the antenna. You know, for no good reason whatsoever. Still a little annoyed that apparently you can't retract the antenna back, but oh well, nonetheless. But yes, we have gotten into orbit. <laughs> And with how wonky this orbit is, if I 
do a burn from over here, with how low my orbit is on this side, it'll probably get me back into the atmosphere with uh, plenty of fuel left over, I would think. Maybe? <laughs> Alright, let's speed this up for a little bit. Let him go around the planet. Oh, look at him go. That debris, I think, is probably going to... Oh, no, it looks like it already is crashing down. Let's slow back down here. There we go. Oh, look at that. That lovely Kerbal Sunrise. With us collecting glorious, glorious science. I wonder what these are looking like right now. Ooh, that's, that's pretty low temp. <laughs> In vacuum, I like that. That's that's good. All right, we are you know, nothing on the accelerometer. I I do like how all these bits of science equipment actually do work. That that makes me happy. Ooh, God, my electrical charge. I ooh, God, I completely forgot about that. I need to do a deceleration burn right now. Because if that runs out, I, I can't do anything. Okay. Okay, so we didn't do an actual orbit of the planet. But... <laughs> oh, I really need... But we did actually create an orbital path. I'm going to count that. So... <laughs> oh god, I hope that charge doesn't completely run out and that we can still open our parachute. Oh god. Oh god, it ran out. I really do hope we can still open the parachute. Well, we can still do that. So that... That makes me happy. Hopefully that means I can still release the chute. As I, uh, I was told that you can't really do anything if your electrical charge runs out. And, well, that's not a good thing. So, now I can understand not being able to control your engines and things like that, but you think that maybe they'd have some sort of uh, fail-safe for the parachute. That's my, that's my hope. <laughs> Alright, we are barreling towards the planet now. We have the SAS still attached. We are falling in a way that if there was actually re-entry heat would burn us up quite quickly. So let's just flip ourselves around. Still a bad descent. Oh no, the science! It has no power! Oh, this probably drained all of my power. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Note to self. The science is good, but I need to attach a solar cell. I don't know why I turned them all off. It's not like I've been generating power. <laughs> yes, note to self, let's add a little uh, photovolvic cell to the spacecraft here so that we do not have this happen again. <laughs> That's, that's what it's all about, guys. It's what it is all about here. Oh, back to one warp and the music stopped. That's slightly ominous. Hey, and we're going to get that water landing that we tried for last episode. Though it looks like we're... I don't know, we'll, we'll probably come down somewhere in this area, so... Not out in the middle of the ocean where it'll take them forever to actually get to us, so, yeah, I'm happy about that. We're coming down quick, though. Jebediah, has, as always, is looking happy. I mean, come on, who wouldn't? He was in space. Be wonderful. Oh, I'm, I'm disappointed about that electrical issue. I completely forgot about the whole electrical charge thing. So, <laughs> but hey, you know what? I'm counting this. This ship got all the way into space, we created an orbital path, and we had more than enough fuel to get us back into the atmosphere. So I'm counting this as a win. <laughs> we just need to add a solar cell so that we don't run out of power next time. 
Mainly because I want to keep the sciencey bits going. Whoa! Oh, I did not actually mean to open that this soon, but hey, it's... <laughs> Slowing us down, so we're all good. We're all good. Ooh, we really do need to slow down. Look at that speed. Yeek. <laughs> Alright. It'd be cool if you could actually see through the little window. Hmm. Alright. Coming in. Let's speed this up. We got the parachute, so it should be a safe landing. One would hope. Alrighty. Jebediah still smiling. Coming down good. Slowing down. Open up, parachute. Open up. Why aren't you opening? Oh, God. <laughs> that always worries me. <laughs> that it doesn't open until that, that soon. What in the world does that mean? Oh, oh god, I have no idea what that did when I clicked that. What is that? I'm going to have to look that up. And I probably shouldn't have pressed it. Jebediah actually doesn't look very pleased right now, so... <laughs> I'm thinking that that was probably a bad thing, if Jebediah is kind of frozen there. He, he, he's probably sitting in the craft going, Oh god, why? What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> All right. About to have splash down here. And a little bit more. Come on. There we go. And safely in the water. All right. Though the crew hatch is underwater now. <laughs> Sorry, Jebediah, you're going to have to take a swim. And unfortunately, you have no electrical charge, so that antenna is currently doing nothing. Hopefully they can find you out in this not very deep ocean. Eh, see the bottom there. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I am pleased with that mission. We did get up there. Why is there still an apoapsis all the way over there? I don't know. All right, let's end this. Alrighty, let's take a look. Highest altitude, 491,000 meters. 6.6 6 Gs was the most endured. Very, very nice, Jebediah. I probably would have thrown up at that amount of Gs. <laughs> We went v quite far. Total distance traveled 4.6 million meters. I'm happy with that overall. So yes, the Kodobos X1 is successful. Let's yeah, let's let's just quickly add a little solar cell onto this thing. So yeah, I. I don't want us to run out of power again. Well, we gotta have the symmetry and... Hmm. Yeah, let's do two. Bam. Now, plenty of power. Hopefully. Maybe. With my luck, probably not. But yes. We will launch that again, but I will save that for next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We did successfully make it up into space and create an orbit just through my incompetence with the electrical charge, we were not able to actually complete said orbit. But again, I'm counting it as a win. I hope you had fun. I hope you come back for the next episode. Hopefully see you guys next time, and have a good one.